Macy Gaines is 11 months old. Roll Tide. Yay! Hey y'all, welcome back to Katie on the flip side. This week I am doing Macy Gaines 11 month update. I cannot believe it is like one of the last monthly updates that I'll be doing with her. It has gone by so fast, oh my goodness. And even though this video is gonna be posted a couple weeks late, um, I'm actually filming it just a few days after her 11 month birthday, which was on August 21st, while we were in Seattle for Vlogger Fair. So all of this information will be current as of when she turned 11 months, right? You wanna show them your toes? Say, look at my toes, I got toes, yay! Yay! Can you eat them? <laughs> so to start with size, we have not been to the doctor since 10 months, so I'm not sure exactly how much she weighs. She feels like she weighs more, so who knows? She all of a sudden had a growth spurt and literally outgrew her pajamas like in a week. All of a sudden I was like, oh my gosh, your toes are about to bust out the bottom of these. We're going to have to get you some new ones. So I bought her some nine month pajamas and she, those are already too small. Like I bought those two weeks ago. So she's going to have to move up to the 12 month size, I think in pajamas because the length is just not working out. The sleeves are getting short. As far as regular clothes that I'm buying, mostly for things that she's going to wear right now, I'm buying nine to 12 months things for anything I know she's gonna wear like fall and winter I'm buying 12 months and I hope those will actually still fit like come Christmas the way she's growing these days she's also still wearing size 3 diapers as far as sleep she has been sleeping great she's always been a good sleeper but I talked about in the last video how she was going through a little phase where she'd randomly wake up for her passy and I'd have to go put her passy back in for her or she would wake up like an hour before she was gonna wake up for the day and she would want to eat this in, which was kind of random but literally the day she turned 10 months it was like a switch flipped and all of a sudden she consistently slept like the 12 hours without even waking up the one hour before she woke up which I'm not even sure what that was about that lasted for about two weeks and then she went back to waking up an hour to two hours before it was time to get up so it was kind of random but in general she's sleeping good as far as like overnight no waking up for her passy anymore usually once she goes to sleep she's asleep I'm a little bit worried to say that. I hate jinxing myself. I'm like, now she's gonna start sleeping horrible. Watch. Still is an earring. Whoops. She loves to pull out jewelry. <laughs> as far as naps go, she's still taking pretty good naps. Um, her nap, her morning nap has shortened to about an hour and a half. Sometimes it'll still go two hours, but most of the time it's like an hour to an hour and a half, and then the afternoon nap is about an hour. So those have gotten a little bit shorter, which also lessens productivity when you're working from home. As far as eating, she is still nursing, and that's still going well. If you watch our daily vlogs, you heard me talk about how I cut out pumping at night. Um, we've always given her a nighttime bottle just because that's what we've done. And so I started just nursing her at night instead of giving her a bottle. Because what I would do is I would give her a bottle and then so I would stretch it out like three hours longer and then I would pump so that would give me a little bit more. But we switched over to just nursing so there's no more bottles, no more pumping and that is fabulous because if you have done that before it's not the most fun thing ever. She's nursing about three to four times a day. Um, trying to get down to three. Sometimes it's four, just depending on what all we've got going on and how long the day is. If you missed my baby led weaning update, I talk all about eating and how she's doing with that. So go watch that for an update on food. And she still has no teeth. Where are your teeth at? Oh, that's a thermometer. You probably shouldn't eat it. As far as new skills this month, she has had some new words. She started saying Emma, which is super cute. Um, she'll say Emma, and then she'll just go Ma, Ma, Emma. Where's Emma? Where's Emma? As per usual, she's not going to do anything. Emma. There you go, Emma. Say Emma. No? <laughs> okay, that's another new thing. She shakes her head to me, no. Mama. That's mama. Where's Emma? Ma. <laughs> Ma. Ma, that's right. Emma. Emma. <laughs> She also recently started saying baby, because like when we look in the mirror at her, we're like, oh, look at the baby, aren't you a sweet baby? She also will say, whoa, whoa, <laughs> if she's doing something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And she's also. She likes to talk a lot in general. She's also. <laughs> 
<laughs> she also will repeat ow. Like if I've hurt myself, I'm like ow. When I put her in her high chair, I usually take her clothes off of her so she doesn't make a mess and she'll start patting her chest and go bup. Bub, <laughs> which I think means bib. I'm not sure. Maybe she's just making some words, but she definitely knows she's supposed to have a bib on. She loves music, loves to dance, and if you turn on certain songs, they're her favorites. She loves Brian Lanning's song, This Is Home, and she'll sing along with na 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 na. <laughs> you can kind of hear her, but she'll na 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 and then she'll sing along with We The King, um, just keep breathing. She'll sing whoa whoa. Whoa whoa whoa. And how about watch me whip, watch me nay nay. And then she'll sing along to watch me bop bop bop. Bop bop bop. Bop, bop, bop. She likes to sing along to those, and sometimes when she wants to hear music, she'll say one of those phrases. She's also picked up a new sign that we taught her, like, tried to teach her like a month or two ago, and she never did it, but she's recently started doing milk. Can you say milk? Milk? Eat. Eat. Good girl. Eat. And what about bye bye? She started doing the backwards wave, which is so cute. Roll Tide! She's learned to roll Tide in, in anticipation of football season. She also um, has stood alone by herself just for a few seconds at a time. Um, she only does it until she realizes she does. she's doing it and then she's like, oh shoot, and she'll sit back down. She can definitely sit back down from standing now without just completely falling backwards. She kind of like gradually sits down. She's also learned how to climb up stairs, so that's kind of scary. <laughs> in the past couple weeks, she's done really well with learning to follow commands. Like if she'll put something in her mouth and we'll say, spit it out. She'll spit it out into our hand. Like just now she actually had something in her mouth and spit it out when I said that. It was the outlook cover. It's just amazing watching their little brains and how she actually is understanding what we're saying. It's crazy. And I think my favorite new skill for this month is, Macy Gaines, can you give me a hug? Can you give mommy a hug? Give me a hug. Oh, thank you, that's so sweet. <laughs> she started actually giving hugs, like sometimes she'll actually wrap her arms around you and she'll give you a kiss. Usually kisses only go to daddy. Let's see if I'll get one. Can I have a kiss? Oh, that was so good. They're a little bit slobbery, but that's how we like them, right? Give him a hug. Give him a hug. Oh, you're so sweet. So that is it for Gain's 11 month update. The next update will be her one year update. I can't believe it. We're in full party planning mode. Lots of stuff going on, lots of stuff to get ready. So stay tuned for that. I may even have to make a video on my channel about like a uh, birthday supply haul because there's lots of exciting things that I'm thinking about buying. I'm also a little behind and I need to get going on that. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe. I put out new videos every Thursday. Leave me a comment and let me know what the craziest thing is that your kids put in their mouth when they were learning to put everything in their mouths. Her favorite thing right now is finding dog food pieces all over the floor. Not very crazy, but it's her favorite thing. So let me know what I have to look forward to as far as strange things going in the mouth. And I will catch you guys on the flip side. Bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye. It's like that. So while she's playing and he's working, I go ahead and start some breakfast for us. Sometimes we'll have protein shakes for breakfast. Sometimes we'll just have some boiled eggs. I'm on an omelet kick lately, so I made us.